right, and so it is remaining. In conformity to this usage, we have assembled in the character of Mason, offering the last tribute of our affection for him, then by demonstrating the sincerity of our esteem for him and the steady attachments and the principles of the fraternity. Did not your heart be troubled? In my father's house there have been mansions. I go there to pay a place for thee what I am, that ye may be also. The God of our Father, who name is from everlasting, will be our God forever and forever, who will be our guide even to <coughs> death. Let us pray. Mercy for Lord, the God of heaven and earth, our good and good and good and good and good and good. I say to thee, please, 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 I just close to the tide of other people's affection. May the present sense of your child set the golden brightest of our protein in. May it set the mean of affection for the best part of this world, and take the golden clothes of our name, the only sure remedy. And at last, the great life of the second thing is first. Oh, in that love of mortal screaming, may the last of our love light the dark shadow of death, and faith in our authority prove our path to the justice of heaven. And there comes the echo of mystery in thy glorious presence. May we, Enjoy your communion with thy father, friend, and brother. Prove the end of the years of eternity. Amen. Man that is born of a woman is a few days of full of trouble. He goes forth like a flower when it's cut down. He flips also as a shadow and continues now. Seeing that his days are determined, the number of his months are with thee. God hath appointed a bound that he cannot pass. Turn from him that even of his day. He may be found worthy to call from labor to oppression. And do we prepare for the translation from the Russian to special law, the joint fraternity of men, the joint fraternity of spurs, of just men made perfect. In the midst of life, God and death, from whom we seek to secure but appeal, Lord, whom for our sins are justly displeased. Thou, Lord, for the secret of our hearts, shut not thy merciful ears to thy prayers. Lord, let me know my end and the number of my days. I may be certified how long I have to live. Man goes forth to his work and to his labor and to the evening of the day. The work and labor of our brother finish. As it has pleased Almighty God to take the soul of our heart, brothers. May he find mercy in the great day that all men should be judged by deeds then run the body. We should walk in the life while we have life. For the darkness of death may come at a time when we are not prepared. Take heed, therefore, watch and pray. For ye know not when the time is. Ye know not when the master comes. At morning, at evening, or at midnight. We should so regulate our lives by the line of rectitude and truth that in the evening of our day, we will be found worthy to call from labor to the present. The days of our children are few and full of evil. So teach us the number of days that we may apply our hearts unto wisdom. It is better to go to the house of the morning than to go to the house of the people. For that is the end of all. And the living will lay it to his heart. Behold, Lord, we are distressed. Our hearts are turned with this. Our skies are dark with clouds and warning, and lamentations are heard on us. Our life is as a vapor that appeared for a little while, then vanished away. All flesh is as grass, and all the glory of man as the flower of grass. Grass withered, and the flower thereof falleth away. <clears throat> the landscape, the white love acre, it is the emblem of innocence and the badge of amazement. More ancient than the gold and fleece in Roman Eagle. More honorable than the star and God of the lovely woman. This emblem will be deposited in the grave. By it, we are reminded of the universal dominion of death. <coughs> this evergreen, which once marked the temporary resting place of our illustrious dead, is an emblem of the immortality of the soul. By it, we are reminded that every one of us has an immortal part in us that will survive and grow, and which will never, never, never die. This too will be the positive grace.
we now have assigned the mortal remains of our deceased brother. We cherish his memory yet. His soul we offer to God who gave him. Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. 